$50 pendulums, baby. Let's go. Who's ready for this video for all the pendulum budget players out there? Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to this hand because I'll show you guys how a budget build can easily put up five negates, multiple hands in a row with worse hands than this one. We'll show three hands in a row, good and bad hands, and then the deck profile at the very end. So we're going to go straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. You already know. Let's go. Let's go. As you hear, Abductor is a key part of Pendulums. I don't know why a lot of you players don't play it. Whether you're uh, broke, whether you're rich, whether you're like in the middle or and don't have a job, just play Abductor. It's free. It's like two cents, like this whole deck. The entire, there's the only card where it's more than one dollar in this entire deck is Boral Sword, which you don't even need because Pendulum OTKs, no problem, baby. Let's go. If you guys want to learn more about Pendulum, check out the Patreon below, by the way, where I talk about Pendulum training. I'm training us how to play Pendulums. Here, who needs Mascarena? I don't need Mascarena. Do you need Mascarena? We don't need it. If we're going to put up five negates without Appaloosa, no problem. Here, we're going to use Abductor Effect to add a Harmonizing Magician. If you're scared of Nibiru, which, bro, are we scared of Nibiru? I ain't scared of Nibiru. So, we game one, we don't play around Nibiru. Uh, game two and game three, fine. If you want to play around Nibiru, you could do it. What you would do instead is you would activate the Chronograph to special summon it. You would save the Emperor Magician in hand to activate it in scale. And instead of getting harmonizing, you get a Jackal King. And then you'll summon a Jackal King and a Mighty Master. But that's boring because we're all used to it. So you're going to show you guys how to put up the gates in a cool, interesting way. In, in a new way. And obviously the five cards in hand at the end. Because, bro, five negates. We'll have five cards in hand on top of the five negates. Guys, friendly reminders. We'll check out everything up above, all right? Uh, support your boy. Check out the Patreon down below. Let's go. So here we're going to link the... Uh, sorry, we're going to synchro the Emperor Magician and the Harmonizing Magician into... That's right, the Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Because Electrum ain't a card anymore, we can't really boil Savage, and that card's worth more than a dollar, right? So instead, we're gonna go into Draco Berserker of Tenyi. Is this card worth more than a dollar? Maybe it is, but who cares? Because it's cheap anyways. So what this card does, it serves as what a Jackal does. What it says is when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, banish it. Now, it essentially does what Jackal does, but it banishes it, which comes up very important when your opponent is going to activate Quick Fix, when your opponent's going to activate Master Plan, whatever it may be, gets it out of the graveyard forever, you don't got to deal with it again. It's actually a very underrated card, and on top of that, it's a going second effect, says uh, essentially attack twice. It's like a Boral Sword, and it's pretty damn good. And Demian, oh, you already know. And now we're going to go into Chronograph to get a free monster on board because that's how we're going to put up the five, fifth interruption. We're going to go into LP. We're going to go into Triple Burst. And now go into Destrudo. Everyone's used to this, right? Obviously. We're going to go into Absolute Dragon. But hey, Triff, you have one card in hand. You said you're going to end in five. Let me show you how to end in five now. So you're going to go into Romulus. Romulus is going to get you a Ravine, which is going to come clutch for the next turn. You're not going to play Tempest Magician because we don't play Bricks out here. And then we're going to link these into Seal. And go into Vortex Dragon. This is four interruptions by itself. And then Seal is going to bring an Aether as the fifth interruption. And how are you going to get five cards in hand, Mr. Triff? Let me show you. End phase comes around. Now, the effect of Emperor Magician will trigger to add a Chronograph to make sure you have a scale for the next turn. Abductor is going to give you... Mighty Master is going to bounce the Abductor back to your hand. So you're going to have four cards in hand. You're going to have a Distrudo as well for the following turn. And then you're going to draw over turn having five cards in hand. So you're starting next turn with five cards in hand. A Distrudo. So you're going to be... A Distrudo to me counts as a sixth card. So you're going to have six cards on for next turn. Your opponent's going to deal with five interruptions. And on top of that, how the hell is your opponent, after dealing five interruptions, going to deal with a Vortex Dragon 3000 defense, a Tenyi 3000 attack, Plus like 6 dollars uh, attack twice. Plus a Mighty Master is unaffected by everything 20 hundred attack. Your opponent might be able to play through the interruptions. But they ain't doing shit to the board. So now you're going to start with 5 cards in hand. And the pseudo and these 3 big ass boss monsters. Good luck has fun. Konnichiwa to the Shadow Realm. Because that's exactly where you're going. Now we're going to go into this game. This game the hand is not very. No this hand we draw good. Like every hand. So it looks good. But we're going to end up drawing a lot of dead cards as we play. And that's an issue with. Pendulum sometimes. So I'm going to show you guys how to play when you draw. So as you see here, we're playing with two cards that you can't use. You can't use Secrets, and you can't use Mastery because you drew doubles. Unfortunate. 
But you know what? Who gives a shit? Because we're playing budget pen out here, and we don't care. We'll just keep the cards in hand and end with five cards in hand. Whatever. It don't matter to us because we're going to OTK the opponent into Oblivion. Same hand here. We're going to end in five cards in hand with Infinity of the Gates. we got to literally end up Dark Roman Scale. It's a little sad, bro. We're going to have three cards in hand. Sorry. But this is a little sad. We're going to end in Dark Roman Scale. As you see, this is not the best pen summon. We don't have pen call, but we don't care. We, we have a lot of plus, but without Electrum, the plus thing is tough to come by. We're going to go to Sudo. Here, we're going to go on to Romulus. Get your free pluses, baby. These cards come in handy. They're big pluses that will come in handy. You go Absolute, you're going to go Seal of Vortex, and we're going to go four interruptions again. Seal, Jackal, who needs Masquerade or Appalooza? We don't. Uh, seal, Vortex, Jackal, and then as, uh, the Seal will bring out the Aether. Now, you are under Into the Void, so you're going to want to save the Mastery and the Secrets and the Ravine uh, on the field. They're not going to go anywhere. Just keep them on field for next turn. And just like that, you have three cards and a Distrudo for next turn, which you cannot forget. It's very important. We're going to go to the next one now. This hand definitely was not very good. But, hey, a pen, just because you have Pen Call Dark Room doesn't mean it's, it's that good. It loses to an Ash. So you're going to want to play Foolish here. We're not even going to Pen Call the Dark Room. Like, pen call, we're not Pen Calling Dark Room. A lot of you guys see Pen Call Dark Room and you're like, oh my god, I win the duel. No, you don't. We're not even going to, well, I'm purposely not going to Pen Call Dark Room. I'm going to show you guys a cooler play. We're going to Normal Summon the Dark Room instead, okay? So... Pen Call Dark Worm is not really that nice uh, when you already have access to Dark Worm. It means, it means shit all. It means nothing. It's like discarding a good card. So we're not going to normal summon Dark Worm. We're going to Romulus. Romulus add ourselves Dragon Ravine. We're playing Budget Pendulum out here. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, by the way. And we're going to Pen Call away the Dragon Ravine. That's hot, right? Free, free pluses, baby. Free pluses. We're not going to get a free harmonizing for next turn, which we're going to save. We're going to put scales up. And now we shall pendulum summon. We pen summon two dark worms, a harmo, and an Empyrean magician. We're gonna plus up Empyrean at the end phase. Harmo shall bring out a card. And just like that, this was not possible if you did not ravine first. And if they ash at any point, you win. Because if they ash a foolish, you pen call worms. So it's like it's just a backup call. Plays through every hand trap, no problem. Uh, except Droll, but we'll talk about that for a later video in a Patreon video. We're gonna talk about how to play through Droll. We do a pendulum training on Patreon. Check it out. Now, uh, another way to play through Droll, obviously, is just play a trip game, play mat. You're good. You could get those as well. But we're going to go Absolute over here. And we're going to Link Summon. Now, we go into Seal. I want you guys to keep, take something in here. I want to leave an option for the players that do have a Mascarena. You don't typically need to play the Appalooza. But for the players that do have a Mascarena because it's more affordable than an Appalooza, what you would do in this situation is Absolute. And the Dark Worm shall go into the uh, uh, Mascarena. So Phoenix for the budget players. Just uh, any random link. Just to link away with. Uh, but uh, to make sure the Absolute resolves. And to be able to get the Strudo as well. But bring out a Vortex. And we're going to now bring out a Time Gazer. You have to get rid of the LP from the field. But if you do have access to, um, uh, to a Mascarena. I would play a Mascarena over here. Seal will bring out an Aether. So you're going to get a bounce from the Aether. You're, sorry, you're going to get a bounce from the Seal. You're going to get a Banish from the Aether. You're going to get a, another Shuffle from the Unicorn. So you're getting three cards that don't destroy. So you're getting a, a Bounce, a Banish, and a Shuffle. And that's all. None of them, like, if they have a Dengir, so you're good. One of them doesn't even target. So you, your opponent has the Protection Effect. It doesn't matter. You get rid of them anyways. And then you're going to have a Negate and a... And a and a two negate, so it's five interruptions easily with full setup. So those are the three test hands. We're gonna go through a quick deck profile for all you guys now. Servant, triple abductor. You gotta place every single list. I don't give a shit. If you're playing pendulums right now without servant or abductor and triple master, you're absolutely fried. And I recommend you walk off the face of the planet. So you play one mighty master, one jackal. Sorry, that's a little that's a little harsh there. I recommend you to kill yourself. So you play triple chronograph. Time Gazer and Double Harmo. One Empire Magician, one Poison, one Dragon Call. I believe this is the best ratio because you have two high scales and one Harmo, one Empire, two low scales and one Poison, and one Dragon Caller. And on top of that, you have two level fours, which is the main part, and the Dragon Caller for level seven. You do not play Desires in this build because it is a budget version. You don't want to banish the Jackal or the Mighty Master or Harmonizing Targets. If you banish those cards, you just go up, lose, and Mascarena in a more expensive version. And Desires is worth more than a dollar, I think. So we're trying to cut those cards out. We play double Dark Worm 1 Gate 0. Blue Boy is the main normal summon here. You don't want normal the Dark Worm. Like I said, the Dark Worm play wasn't, wasn't that, like, Pen Call Dark Worm is not that nice, anyways. Eight there for the free interruption in the budget version. Distrudo, free. 
I play five blue boy cards. You guys gotta understand this. If you hard draw two of them, that's fantastic because you need to make a link two. In this version, you need to make a link two before the pendulum summon, no matter what. So if you draw two in order to guard dragon combo easily. So if you blue boy and draw into another seek, uh, if you draw two of these, big deal because you just use the blue boy and uh you use the knowledge on the secrets in your hand so you save the blue boy on the field and the blue boy and like the chronograph or the dark room or the servant or whatever it may be go into the link two if that makes sense and the extra card you just discard a pen call if you need to upstart into the void triple allure this deck still pluses like crazy as you guys saw three cards and five cards and etc so if you do have play into the void just be wary of it you guys saw the hand with three spells we just set the three spells in hand so it, it's like you still have it's still on your field it's fine troll mastery four pen call playing five is fine one Foolish, one Shrine, and one Ravine. I do think this is the correct call if you're playing Guard Dragons, simply because missing out on the free plus is is just crazy. And you saw the play with Ravine and Romulus with the Dark Worms. You can do it with the Strudel as well if you have access to it, turn one before your pen summon. You need to go Romulus, and sometimes a free card for the pen call or to resolve Servant Abductor is gigantic. So you need to play it, and you don't want to play four of them. Side deck, one Reboot, Triple Denko, one Dino Rustler, one Eccentric. These six, you could throw in any of them out of versus back row decks. Dino Rustler, you could throw versus everything if you don't know what you're playing. They're going to auto scoop your board a lot. Same with Eccentric. These two are like the cards you sign if you don't know what you're playing. Triple Sphere, Triple Lava Glow, and Spiral. Double Village slots for going first. Play these three for going first. What you do is you t if you're going second, you put in the six back row cards for five Blue Boy end cards. And you could take out a Ravine if you want or an Into the Void for the back row hate. And same thing for the six cards here that are for your combo decks. Going first, you have a double village and a sloth. So what I would do is I would take out the aether for the sloth. And for the double village, it's really your call at this point. I would take out one blue boy and one ravine. And I know you lose out on the negate, but you get the village, so it's fine. You can also get rid of it into the void if you want. Uh, one Crowley, one Romulus, one Beacop. Sometimes you can't, you have one dragon, one small caster, so you need the Beacop as well. Uh, one of each, perfect. One LP, one triple burst, one seal, one Phoenix. There's no Sayuja. If you can afford Sayuja, throw it in, but I think it's over five bucks. We don't play those. Well, if you go afford Unicorn, throw it in as well. Boral Sword, uh, you don't need it. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can make the deck 40 bucks if you want. That's cool. Absolute Vortex, Dweller Tornado. Uh, you can make one of these in any rank four decks. Dragster, Arcanite. Uh, whether well, you're going first, you go Drex. If you're going second, you make Arcanite. Arcanite is broken with spell counter decks. And the Draco link that we, Draco Synchro we talked about. The Draco Tenny is good for whether you're going first or second. So I like it. That's the video, guys. If you like it, smash the thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button. And check out the playmats up above and the Patreon down below. Hope you guys like the video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.